here for patbangers.com and in this episode we want to show you the most customizable controller for your DAW and it's only around 35 bucks so it's a totally no-brainer and the thing I'm talking about is the Cherry Keypad G84-4700 um, you know I think I already have a keypad on my computer why should I buy a second one now let me tell you this, the cool thing about this one is um, you can remap all the buttons on the keypad to any function you like, to any keystroke, to any hotkey you need for your DAW. It comes with its own software and all you need to do is set up the hotkey in the software to use it with any program. It's not only working with music, pro uh, with mu music programs, it's also working with graphics, games, office, whatever you want to do with it, you can do it with this little keypad. So here we have the keypad. It's a stand-up like unit. There are two versions, a PS2 versions for older computers and a standard USB port. Uh, it works with Mac and PC, but we don't use Apple here, so we only can test it with Windows. And it works really good so far. The keys are a little bit loud, but it doesn't disturb me when I'm working so um, just give it a try and um, judge yourself what you think about it I already made some stickers for it and gave them to my print shop they printed them out for me and cut it out so um, we will be back after we put the stickers on the unit and uh, we will show you how to set up the keypad on the computer with your software so now we're back with the final keypad. We put all the stickers on it and as you can see it looks really good and all the icons come out really good so you can uh, easily handle it without remembering any uh, shortcuts, any of the thousand shortcuts you probably have in your DAW. So um, for example I have now my favorite um, working tools here like the, the arrow tool, the pen tool, selection and um, the cut tool. Uh, I can hide and show all my windows with a single click. Um, I can set up markers for intro, verse, bridge and hook. And I also have buttons to browse um, to the different pages in my browser like VST instruments, effects, sounds and my files. I also have a, a back button map to it because that's one of the most um, most often used key commands when you work with your DAW. And yeah, let's move over to the computer and I show you how to set it up. Alright, so now we're back on the computer and as you can see the keypad fits really good on my desk and it's easy to recognize all the different functions with the different label uh, and different colors on the keys. So let me show you how to set up your keypad. Um, first of all, you need to know what functions or what hotkeys you want to map to the keypad. So the easiest way is go to your DAW, and uh, in my case it's Studio One, and open up Shortcuts, and just look for the for the function you want to map to the keypad, and um, look for the specific shortcut. In Studio One, uh, big advantages I can assign hotkeys to almost every function of the DAW so if it's not already um, has a, a shortcut just assign it to it and um, I already assigned everything I want to have on the keypad so I can skip this step. Uh, second you need to open the Cherry Designer which gives you a, a little preview of your keypad and all you need to do is now select the specific key and it says software macro right here. This is the option you wanna you wanna use. You click on next, and now all you need to do is hit a specific shortcut on your main keyboard. In this case, I wanna use uh, F6. So I delete this real quick to show you. And all you need to do is click in this little window right here. Hit F6 on your keyboard, and it's saved. Now all you need to do is click OK, save your layout, and activate it. And now it gives you a little test window, but F6 is not really a, 
a letter that it can show in the display so it won't do anything. Um, just go back to your DAW, hit the key and see if it's working. And as you can see my browser opens up and goes right into instruments tab exactly as it should. So it's pretty easy to set up, it's totally customizable, you can add each function of your DAW or whatever software you're using at this moment and map it to the keypad which makes it a really exciting tool to work with and again it's only 35 bucks plus maybe 5 bucks for the stickers depending on the print shop you're going to and you're good to go really easy to handle tool that gives you great advantage in your workflow that's it so far I hope you enjoyed this please leave some comments subscribe to the channel um, visit the website patbangers.com and I hope you uh, get some use from this and uh, just let us know how do you like the video peace